Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alice. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so we're gonna do, we're doing a, like a, a back to, realistic back to school makeup. Like something that I would actually do eons ago, back when I was school, in school. If I was in school now. When I was in school, bitch, when I was in high school, I'm pretty sure that I had horrible makeup when I was in college. I don't know if I really gave a shit. Don't even remember if I even wore any makeup. I literally can't remember. I was so just like, F this. But I'm, I wanted to do something that, that could be helpful for you guys. A quick, basic, no fuss, like go to, kind of put together, but kind of grunge makeup look. So let's just get into it. Uh, first thing we would do is prime. I'm gonna use the Milk Hydro Grip. Slap that on my face really quick. Back in the day, I didn't even know primer existed, dude. It was before. This was back when the only people who probably knew about primer and contouring was makeup artists and drag queens. Like, we had foundation, we had powder, and we had eyeshadow and maybe mascara. I don't even. I don't even think I wore any lipstick, dude. Which is fine. I mean, when you're in high school, like. Just I have this BB cream here that I wanted to try. This is by Pure Lease. Perfect Glow BB Cream with SPF 30, so that's cool just in case, you know, you need to go outside, you know, when you're uh, passing in between classes or going outside to have a cigarette. Just kidding, don't do that, kids. You know, you wanna have a little SPF. I'm just gonna rub that in with my hands because it's a BB cream. I have the shade Light. It feels so hydrating. So what am I getting ready for? You may be asking yourselves. I am not in school anymore and I don't have a traditional work life because I work from home. So for me, this is more so like just throwing on a face when I wanna have something on, but it doesn't need to be perfect. So we're talking quick, but still, you know, still looks good. Uh, but also like not a lot of effort because oh my god back in the day before school ugh, When I would even make it to school. I was always late like literally always late and I'm not bragging you guys It's not a good thing. I was also always late to work too. <laughs> I have a problem That stuff is nice. I mean, it's pretty light coverage as, as you can kind of see but it kind of reminds me of CYO only like a lighter lighter version I'm gonna do a really quick contour next using the milk bronzer stick and blaze back in the day i probably wouldn't have even needed to contour i had i like had no double chin back then i was so look i was i was so cute and then well i mean no my makeup game has improved like tenfold and also yeah my personal style but i had such a night i was like so nice and thin i could wear like low rise jeans i miss those days <laughs> I probably wouldn't have had to contour because I didn't have a double chin, but now, honey, even on a no makeup makeup day, I'm contouring this sucker. I love this bronzer because it is so fast. Look at that. Just boop, boop, boop. You're out the door. I mean, you're almost out the door, but I could drink my coffee. I could read, you know, look at my phone while I do this. You, like, barely even have to look. All right, bada bing. For concealer, I'm going to use this Stellar Limitless Concealer. I've really been enjoying this stuff. And since my foundation was so kind of thin, just gonna go in kind of liberally with this stuff to make up the difference. Again, in high school, like, would you even need concealer? I don't, I don't think so, man. The way TV shows and the media make high school look, oh my god. <laughs> Let me wet, I need to wet my sponge, hang on. God, it's so hot. Let me check it out. 
Did anyone else have a hard time with the first episode? I, like, just the sex, the drugs. <laughs> these are children. These are high schoolers. Nobody, do people act like that these days? Oh my God, dude. Really took me for surprise because I didn't watch the trailer for the show or anything like that. I, have, I had no idea what it was going to be about, the premise, anything like that. I was just like, hey, people like the show. Let me turn it on and watch it. I, I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> like Game of Thrones, killing people's heads getting cut off. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Incest? No, I'm not fine with that. But I mean, I can't with the overly sexualized and overly drug utilized children. Really quick, let's do a little cream blush just for shits and gigs. Cream blush, I think, is a really nice way to have like kind of like a youthful glowing look because layering on the powders and the powders and the powders, when you're going to be out in public, like in front of people to the naked eye, sometimes powders can be a little much. So that's why I like doing the creams. But creams don't last that long. If you want to have this shit last throughout your work day or your school day, you need to powder, honey. And I used this in a recent tutorial, and even though I hated the foundation that I used it with, I think I like I think I like the this powder formula. So this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Just gonna dust that everywhere. Boom, boom, boom. Oh God. I was in such a hurry that I accidentally put the lid on my my milk blush. Oh, that looks gross. That looks really gross. I'm gonna do a little baking under my eyes just where this stuff is prone to kind of break up on me just a little bit just pack it in there let it melt with the concealer let's see when i was in middle school i don't even think i i wasn't even allowed to wear makeup i think my friend danny we were like all like super like hardcore like really into Slipknot and Corn in Lincoln Park and we had to wear uniforms at that school but we would zazz up our looks by wearing studded bracelets from Hot Topic every single day. I swear to god I'd put I had a three row studded bracelet on for one arm and then a single one on the other and then some of those like plastic bracelets that you would like so these are just hair ties but you would get these plastic bracelets and you would do this with them and then put like a bunch of them on your arm, kind of like that. <laughs> so yeah, uh, and I felt totally naked. If I, if I accidentally forgot my studded bracelets, I felt so naked, I felt so triggered. But uh, I don't think we had makeup. I didn't, we didn't wear makeup back then. I'm just gonna do my brows really quick. I always struggled with my brows back then. I didn't know how to pluck them and filling them in just wasn't a thing back then, you guys. It just really wasn't. We were living in dark times. Like, this is literally before social media. <laughs> I'm so old. Anyway, I always hated my brows because they grow in, like, so kind of weirdly uneven. That uh, if I knew you could fill in your brows, I totally would have been doing that shit. But anyway, so in high school, we didn't have uniforms. But I almost, like, kind of wished that we did because I just got to this point where it's like, I'm so... I'm over it, I don't care. I'm not, ex you know, not excited, not enthused. So like having to pick out your clothes every day was just like another like pain in the ass part of going to school. And there's that, that like kind of stigma type thing that you, you see in like TV and movies and stuff where the kids always have like cool clothes and they wear different stuff every day and it's like, oh, you know, what are you gonna wear today? And so I low-key like wanted to have a uniform at one point because I'm just like I am so sick of picking stuff out and hey a collared shirt and a like little black like skort skirt type thing I'm fine with that in fact in middle school the uniform yeah it was you can either wear a gray a white or a burgundy like kind of polo shirt and then black bottoms so like black pants black skirt court whatever I've always I had always like really been opposed to pants i hated pants still hate pants but now leggings exist so thank god but i hated pants jeans like any of that shit so i would always wear a skirt or a skirt and that kind of carried over into high school jenny and i would literally wear like these black mini skirts like every day even like when it was freezing and we'd have to walk to school too we were fucking weird man 
in college, obviously, there's a little more freedom, you know, you're not at the house anymore, um, and you don't, you know, you can buy whatever clothes you want, wear makeup if you want to, blah, 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 but at that point, I'm just like, I li like, fuck this, I literally am so over it. I think I just would wear, like, a ratty, like, sweatshirt and jeans. I didn't really care. I wanted to be comfy at that point. If I were to go back to school right now, ugh, bitch. I don't have any desire to impress anybody anymore, and I've already got my boyfriend locked down, so it's like, <laughs> really don't need anybody talking to me. Um, I would probably not wear makeup at all, to be 100% honest. If I'm going back to college, I'd be wearing pajamas. I would roll out of bed and like literally go. <laughs> but, you know, for some people, that's okay. You want to look cute. Uh, brows are done. Wow, one of them is way bigger than the other. When I did start filling in my brows, I had a really big eyeshadow palette that kind of looked like a Morphe palette, only I don't think it was. Oh no, it was one of those like that fold open and it's two-sided like a book. And it has just like a shitload of eyeshadows in there. I probably got it off eBay or something. So I had that and I would just take a little brush like this and dip it into water in my sink and then dip it into the powder shadows and fill in my brows that way. Oh my god. And then um, I started experimenting with hair colors. I think it, it was actually Valerie who first started doing it. My younger sister, she's the trendsetter of our family. She started doing colored hair and then Jenny and I thought it was cool. We started doing colored hair. She started shaving off like the ends of her eyebrows so she could fill them in like the way that she wanted them to look. So pretty common nowadays, but back then I feel like it wasn't. <laughs> well, you know, while I, while I keep talking, I'm going to contour just a little bit, just a teensy bit, teensy bit more contour. And at one point, you guys, I just, I had pink hair and I was, I didn't like dye my, I didn't bleach my brows or anything like that, but I wanted to have pink eyebrows. I wanted to have bright pink eyebrows and I just shaved them off and I kept it like that for a really long time. And I don't think it was a good look. Looking back, like, I have pictures, Ugh, it wasn't a good look, like, I wasn't good at filling them in. Hey guys, editing me here. So, unfortunately, my microphone decided to slowly die and betray me without any sort of notice. It's unfortunate because I was really looking forward to posting this video because it's a little bit more thoughtful. I want to do more videos where I'm just actually chatting with you guys about stuff and maybe being more helpful and entertaining in a different way that's not just kind of like showing you makeup products because it's starting to get a, a little bit I want to connect I guess I just I want to connect more I want to chill I want to chat and I don't just want it to seem like I'm just another influencer that's trying to tell you that you need this makeup product or you need to look like this or have this kind of life in order to be happy so anyway don't feel bad though that you if you want to do makeup in high school and college when you're in high school and stuff when you're younger it's like you're not going out you're not like you don't have to do adult things you don't have to do like adult errands and leave the house when you don't want to I guess except for like school type stuff and it makes sense that like the one time of day that you need to go out and be around people and peers you're gonna want to do makeup maybe a little like look cute and stuff and that's totally fine if you don't want to do that that's fine too nowadays it's like since I have to to do stuff that involves wearing makeups I enjoy not doing makeup sometimes and it's totally fine if you want to go out or go to school or go or wherever looking like this this is how I would go to school and college right now there's nothing wrong with that makeup is more of a fun thing back then for me it definitely seemed like I mean I, I wanted to change how I looked makeup back then was like a let's try I need to look cute I need to look hot I need to change how I look I don't look good without makeup nowadays I'm like I look fine without makeup and makeup is like a fun expressive thing to do so hopefully any of this shit makes sense sorry about the random lack of audio for the second portion of this video hopefully you enjoyed it anyway let me know leave me comments down below I absolutely love hearing from you guys and I'll see you in my next video bye